Hey, it's Bart coming to you with a quick hitter. A little quick hitter. Haven't done one in a while. And I just got a game in that I'm reviewing that is all about boxing. So I wanted to give it a little coverage. Well, it's title bout number two. So uh, the designer, uh, Jim Trunzo, put out a uh, title about the original in like 1979. He's a huge boxing aficionado. Uh, has authored some books on that. And uh, he created a, a, a simulation that allows you to... Uh, let's say you can fight uh, uh, well you can fight even George Foreman young against George Foreman old <laughs> or you can get Muhammad Ali against Cassius Clay when he was young or you can obviously mix up Jack Dempsey and Mike Tyson and you can do all this cool stuff or you can do it much more normal or even historical as well enough on that I do have a toast that uh, Scott and I refined while we were driving down to uh, Iron Root. And so I'll give that at the end of this, and hopefully we'll keep doing that. This is going to be a blind quick hitter. So samples come in. I've got like 40 of them back there. I don't know what this is. I just blindly grab them. I don't even know if it's an Irish, Japanese, bourbon, uh, rye, scotch, Isla. I don't know anything. Oh, I get a little floral. Huh. So it allows me to look like an idiot on occasion. Scott would say more than on occasion. Interesting. Whew. Strong, higher ABV. I just took in too much. Hello. I'm getting some cinnamon notes. It feels to me like it's uh, rye or high rye mash uh, bill on a bourbon. I almost want to say like a Four Roses-ish. Now again, I may not even be on the right con. <laughs> I will admit, uh, I was just reading Scotch Malt Whiskey Society's magazine that comes out. Scott and I usually do our show in the morning on Mondays. And they talked about how your old factory, your, your nose uh, abilities are way better in the morning. And they kind of drift on as the day goes. And this is later in the day. Caveat, I'm giving myself an out. I get some nice, sweet caramel uh, bourbon notes uh, along with some peppery rye. Mm -hmm. A lot more rye on the taste. whole lot of rye. Rye bread. Rye dough. Rising dough. Yeast. Mm, some corn. Buttered popcorn. Wow, this is super flavorful. Ooh, nice roasted corn. That is really nice. So what I'm picking up are those rye notes, early pepper, and then it's smoothed way off into kind of what I call the more typical bourbon notes. Let's put some, there's some good ABV in here. I'm going to put some substantial drops in there. It's not going to hurt that one at all. Not even a bit. Let's see here. Boy, that's a good sample too. Uh, nothing changed on here other than I'm getting more corn. Uh, yeah, I get a nice like dusty corn. Almost like a, a corn mash. Mmm. Water took real nice to this. Still get those pepper notes, but it softened it out just a touch. Nice. The uh, the rye stays with it, giving you that kind of um, tannic. Is that a tannic rye bread? Kind of that, that sharper. Mmm. And then it goes right to those caramels. That's like a four-stage transition. And then I go, and then it goes all creamy and buttery. And then corn mashy. <laughs> There's some notes for you. So, this is phenomenal. Enough, uh, what do we got here? Blanton's uh, SFTB uh, 127.6 proof. Claire the third. Well, thank you, Claire. Wow. I do love me some Blanton's. Holy moly, is that tasty. And yeah, yeah. It is up there on the ABV. Wow, hold on. I mean, now that I know, that is just delicious. 
Mmm. Rich in the mouth feel. Creamy. Clings. Clings to the, uh, the upper palate and the side of the cheek. Delicious. Boy, save that sample. So, uh, I'll get to this. Uh, that was wonderful. Um, of course, we end our shows with Scotch It, You Scotch Gods, Solantia Dummies. Still good. We may just stick with that. But when we were at Kansas City for uh, the Kilt Crawl, Simon Brooking had all those wonderful toasts. And if you've ever been around him, he's just um, a skilled speaker. Um, and the way the toasts just roll off, and, they're, and they're, some of them are very complicated. I'm like, wow, he's like a, a showman as well. Um, we wanted something that embodied our spirit in a toast. Um, we, th I, I think this does it. Uh, we had some help from a fan, and it's escaping my me uh, the, your name off the top of my head. I apologize. Bruno will get it in. Scott will get it in. Um, and of course, he said, "Hey, here's my idea, and take it and run with it. Do whatever you want." So when we were driving down to Iron Root, um, we played around with it a little bit. This will probably be what it is if we stick with the toast. I'm going to read it so I don't mess it up. When you drink with us, you never drink alone. We toast to family, friends, good health, and home. Pour an Irish, a bourbon, a rye. But if you scotch, scotch it, you scotch gods. So launch it, dummies. I like it. <laughs>